All right, so there's a tower that's on fire. And there's someone stuck up in the tower. And you've got a fire truck. You and your firemen and firewomen buddies are coming to the rescue. But you've got to come up with this plan. Okay, you can only get so close to the tower because the, the, the fire is just raging out of control in, in front of it. Um, but you, you want to extend your ladder on the fire truck to this, to this window. So, um, because the fire is so hot, you, you're just going to drive in real quick, uh, race up the ladder, grab the person, race back down, and head out. Okay, so you don't have time to, to get real close and then kind of extend the ladder, figure out, oh, is it this angle, this angle, what angle are we going to extend, you know, lift this thing to. You just have to know. In fact, you know, you're going to start over here, you're going to put it at the right angle, um, and you're just going to go. Um, zoom in. Boom, extract the person, boom, done. So you need to figure out what angle do you need to lift the ladder. True story. What angle do you need to lift the ladder to uh, in order to pull off this rescue operation? Okay, so uh, you know that the window is 100 meters uh, high, and you know the closest you can get is 20 meters. Um, so, and then you're going to extend the ladder, something like that. Uh, we're going to ignore, ignore the height of the truck, okay, just for the sake of simplicity. So the question is, what is this angle? Because you're going to set the ladder at that angle, and then you're just going to drive in and go. Um, okay, well, uh, we can use an inverse trig function to do that. Uh, so uh, first, what's, what's the trigonometric ratio here? Uh, we've got the side opposite this angle, and we've got the side adjacent. So we know that the tangent of theta is 100 meters over 20 meters, the, the ratio of the opposite over adjacent, right? So tangent theta is 100 over 20, uh, which is 10 over 2, which is um, 5. The tangent of theta is 5. Um, and you need to know what this angle is. So you could take the arc tangent of 5, and that'll tell you what degree that would, um, uh, angle that would have to be in order to create a triangle uh, where the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is 5. So I'm just going to grab the calculator uh, arc tangent of 5, and it's going to tell me that in degrees. That's about 78.69 degrees. 78.69 degrees. All right. So in your buddies, you, you set the, the ladder to 78.69. Someone else does the math uh, using the Pythagorean theorem to make sure your ladder is long enough. You drive in. You go save the day. Good job. All right. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a less urgent problem, but still pretty destructive. And that's, uh, that's this. Imagine that you fire a flaming pumpkin uh, from some spot here. Uh, it follows this arc. Um, it gets as high as it's going to go, and then it starts falling back towards the earth, and then hits the ground. Well, you can easily measure the distance from where you fired it to where it hits the ground. Just, you know, follow the line to the splats. And you measure that it's 560 meters. Um, you happen to know uh, by calculating the initial velocity and you know knowing what you know about gravity, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you happen to know that the highest point it reaches is 70 meters above the ground. So then the question is, what is this uh, angle of elevation? That's the question. You want to know what angle elevation this is. Um, well, uh, if you can turn this into just look at this as a right triangle here. Well, this whole distance is 560 meters. Um, so, and halfway through its path, it, it reaches as high as it's going to go. So, um, we're going to say that's 280. Meters. Okay? Just so, focusing on this triangle. So, the, so we've got, with respect to this angle, we've got, it's the opposite side of that triangle, and we've got the adjacent side. So we know uh, that the tangent of x degrees is 
is 70 um, meters over 280, which we can reduce to uh, you know 7 over 28, which is 1 fourth. So let's take the the arc tangent of 1 fourth. Um, arc tangent of 1 fourth is about 14 degrees. So that's about 14 degrees. Okay, so these examples are kind of silly, but this kind of this shows you the sorts of situations in in, in which you might want to use an inverse trig function to calculate an angle if you know um, a couple sides of what you can look at as a as a right triangle. All right, good luck with your rescue operations and uh, then your violent shooting of, of pumpkins. Wish you all the best. See ya.